how to navigate a coffee date, what to order, where to sit, what not to order, all the details, let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Shop Vibes. Welcome to East Biari Coffee. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to order on a coffee date. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm Mike, if you know my backstory, my wife and I, we took our love of coffee and then our love and turned it into East Biari Coffee House, especially Coffee House in our hometown in Western Pennsylvania. You know, one of the greatest things uh, about opening or running a coffee shop is you get to see people come together. It's more emotional than you realize. It's really cool. And of course you get to see people on first dates and people fall in love and who knows, something could start here and eventually lead to a marriage. It is really cool when you think about it. And today I'm gonna dive into some of the do's and don'ts of coffee dates. You know, I kind of rather be on this side of the bar. So it's always fun when you see a young couple come in and I'm gonna share with you some tips from a barista standpoint about what you should order, where you should sit, and some other nuances about a coffee date. And let me tell you, there's probably no better way, I'm biased, I know, but probably no better way to get to know someone than over a cup of coffee. So cool, let's go. I've been on a few coffee dates, some of them unsuccessful, let's be honest, but the first tip I will give you, obviously, is where to go. You almost exclusively wanna to go to a specialty coffee house, something local, I don't know what message that sends taking your partner or your date to a chain shop. I don't know, but I think you want to go someplace where they're going to have unique coffees, unique vibes, unique atmosphere. So you can talk about the coffees. You can talk about the coffee shop. You can talk about the layout of the shop, the people in the shop. You can people watch things like that to give you more conversation than something that is going to be a general cookie cutter chain store. Plus you're supporting great local people. So try to make it, tip number one, try to go to a true specialty coffee shop. Tip number two, which might be the best of them all, just leave your phone at home, in the car, wherever. Just don't bring it. Your date will notice, trust me, no phone. So one of the critical pieces is checking out. And by the way, I'm trying to make this as kind of gender neutral. You could be either partner or whatever um, to help you kind of understand, hey, do this, do that. But ordering is key. Who pays? Well, I, I remember this famous like 50 Cent, the rapper quote on a night show, talk show, uh, where they said, who pays on, on a date? And he's like, well, whose idea was it to go on the date? But um, so I'm not going to decide that. You guys maybe want to know that beforehand or maybe, you know, I would always pay. But anyway, that's just me. But ordering is key. Anyway, ordering. So this is the thing, right? You want to come up and you want to order with confidence, right? Because I think that's where it kind of gets nuanced. You know, dates are funny because everything is analyzed. You know, I shouldn't have said that. I should have said this, right? Um, but again, I'd say be pretty confident in your ordering. Do not try to joke around a lot. I see people come up here and they try to joke around like I knew them for 20 years. I've never met them before, you know, with their baristas or whatnot. So just come casually and confidently come up and place your order. Now, what to order? Let's go. Now, I don't know where you are in your relationship, date one, two, three, 15, but let's say it's early. I think you should stay away from exotic drinks. So it's sometimes easier to say what not to order. And espresso is a good thing. I mean, espresso says a lot about a person, in my opinion, as an espresso drinker, but it's too quick and too short to order if you actually wanna sit down and get to know somebody. So definitely not an espresso. I think there's a few drinks you can't go wrong with, but I would stay away. I mean, we do all these different specials and sometimes, well, I'm not sure what vibe that sends. Maybe you wanna send that vibe, that fun vibe, but I would stay within a certain box. Coffee, obviously, is a great one. Cold brew coffee, especially, you know, most coffee shops have three or four different options on drip. We have a nice Mexican coffee right now. You know, try something new, something you can, you, you can use as a conversation piece. Uh, lattes, I think, is the, the, the standby because you can sip lattes, and depending on how well the conversation's going, right, you can make it shorter, make it longer. But, you know, coffee and lattes are really the true, true um, best coffee date drinks there are because they're long they're, they're inviting i always think a warm drink on a cold day and good conversation is just tough to beat so i like those the probably the most exotic i would suggest especially early on is like a mocha you know that's you know a chocolate latte essentially but i would stay away from some of these unique ones of course she might be or they right whoever they are might be judging you like do you get oat milk are you healthy right and coffee says certain things right coffee if you get, get a black coffee it kind of insinuates that you're into fitness in a lot of cases or you're you're more health conscious so there are so many nuances of this order right i hate putting pressure on people but i try to stay or i would advise to say 
pretty basic with your order. With that said, another good drink is Cortado, especially if you want something smaller than a latte or not as strong or as big as a coffee. Uh, Cortado, a cappuccino, I think a Cortado is a very in vogue drink. It sends a little bit of intelligence, a little bit of well-traveledness, uh, I think when you order a Cortado. So I think that's a great drink as well on a coffee day. If I met a girl who was a Cortado drinker on the first day, I don't know. And good coffee is gonna make the situation more comfortable. Them, him, her, they'll open up more to you, I think, over a good cup of coffee. Now, I ought to say too, first dates, second dates, you know, you're nervous as hell, by the way. And um, don't overthink it, just enjoy it. It's so awesome. I know some people are scared to go on dates because it's too much work, but man, it is awesome to live life and to meet new people. So, so simply have fun and enjoy it. And you know, the milk choice, you know, that is kind of the thing that does, you know, peek behind the covers a little bit because it might say a little bit about your health, what you're allergic to, or some of those details. So, you know, just be cautious with that. Most coffee shops, of course, especially coffee shops, will have almond, oat milk, skim, whole, and maybe another milk option as well. Another interesting call is going to be the mug. If you get it in a ceramic mug, that to me sends a little bit more intimate vibes. However, please note, when you drink out a ceramic mug, you typically drink a little bit faster, so note that. But if you do get it in a ceramic mug, you'll typically get latte art, which sets a nice mood. The drinks, I guess just do you. Although if you come to East BR in June, I would avoid getting the wedding season latte. It's the most popular drink we have. But on a first date, I don't know what signals that says. So anyway, a couple other things. Where to sit, another great question. So where to sit, every shop is laid out differently. Uh, we have these tables, which you might want to try because there's a pretty big gap between you and the other person. Or we have these really big tables, which is more for groups. So I think you have a couple options. However, this to me, you're a little far apart. And again, depends on where you are, I think, on the date. I prefer going over to the bar where you can actually kind of be side by side. Uh, and I'll tell you why. All right, so I like to sit at the bar. Um, if the if I think I'm so inclined to because you're you're kind of close you can look outside you can open up to each other like fully open up and you know if maybe there's a joke maybe just tap her leg I don't know uh, you can kind of get a better more cozy vibe I think when you're sitting you know with two bar seats or whatnot so that's kind of would be my go-to finally avoid the baked goods just don't do it use the coffee date to set up dinner I'm not sure but the baked goods can be awkward. They can be messy. Keep it simple. Skip the baked goods and the sweets. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just be yourself, be natural, be confident, have fun, enjoy. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck.